Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to be starting a uh, video uh, review slash tutorial series. Um, I thought it would be good. It was actually recommended to me by CQBJ. Uh, he's, a, he's a nice guy. You should check out his channel. He has a couple of little videos that are pretty good. He's uh, going to be getting a post star soon, so I'm looking forward to those videos. Uh, we were thinking of doing like a, uh, a double polar star uh, montage kind of thing. <clears throat> so we'll, uh, we'll let you know about that in the future. My uh, tutorial review today is going to be of my rail system. Uh, it is made for a real gun. Uh, the name is kind of long, so I'll put it in the description or in the video, you know, some annotation or something. As you can see, I moved my PQ bots onto my gun rail just so I can have more access to this. Uh, so we'll start off, uh, as you can see it is a quad rail. It's one, two, three, and four. Quad rail. Uh, it is not a free float rail, as you can see by the delta ring. It attaches on the delta ring, uh, kind of like indentations, and then lots on to the uh, uh, retaining ring on the front of the gun. Uh, it is made for a real gun, so it has all those uh, qualities and specifications that you would uh, assume to be on a real gun. Um, I will go over the actual uh, rail system in a minute. First I'll go over what I have on it. I have my ladder 10 uh, rail covers. Uh, they are very good, however on this rail system in particular I had to shave down each uh, each part because um, they were just a little too thick to uh, work, so that's kind of a pain. But after you uh, after you get them uh, shaved down, they fit nicely. On the bottom, I have my vertical grip with my batteries inside, extra batteries inside for my flashlight, and my flashlight. As you can see, I have on a uh, an offset rail. Uh, these would be at, I guess, like the, uh, like 4, um, not, like 4.30 and 7.30, whatever you want to call it, positions. So it's offset from the, uh, the 60 and the 90, and it just, it's a nice feeling for your hands. Uh, that's obviously not part of the rail system, but it is a nice addition. So moving on to the, uh, actual takedown, uh, I will show you that in a minute. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have it off the gun right now. Uh, these are the two pieces. Uh, I don't. I think I mentioned this before, but the the ten hand guards, uh, um, rail covers, interfere with uh, putting the two pieces together. Uh, so as you can hopefully see, uh, there's a little bit of the hand uh, rail covers that uh, don't allow it to fit in correctly. So you kind of got to wiggle it in, and that. Uh, that means that you want to put the hand covers on after you attach both sections to your gun. Uh, as I said, this is made for a real gun, uh, so it's a very strong quality build. Uh, it has space for the gas tube up top. Um, obviously, we don't need that, but for a real gun, you would. It has numbers, even numbers on the rail sections, and it's locked down uh, to the other, to the bottom half, with screws that are included along with a allen key that is included. Uh, as I said, it's made for real gun, and to attach it, this is kind of, a lot of, some people don't really know how to attach it, because it doesn't come with directions, but it has these four marks right here, on the, uh, the, uh, this end right here, which you can see it stands over the rail section right here. On the other side, this side is for the front sight area. It has a little indentation right here. Uh, so this is right here and then if you move further in it's indented more and you can see those same four uh, uh, points and this will be on the front of the gun. This is where the ring will be uh, right here. And on the back this will fit into the delta ring and these little four points will fit into the delta ring slots. So I'll show you how to put that on right now. Uh, on my gun, it's a little bit more difficult because my delta ring is quite strong. So the top is usually fine. 
the back, the delta ring part of the uh, top section is usually fine. And then to get it onto the retaining ring, you just get a pull. All right, so we got that top section on. It's easier, obviously, to push down on the stock when you do it, so I can't really do it sideways, but that's how it fits on. You can see it overlaps the uh, the retaining ring right there, and that locks into the delta ring. Then the bottom half, as I said, with the rail covers, is kind of difficult to get on. You got to make sure that you have it locked into the bottom first. Okay, so I got it back on. I just had to peel away the rail covers a little bit uh, because, as I said, they get in the way. Uh, and then all you want to do is you want to take the four screws and put them into their respective slots. Um, I like to tighten down the front screws first, uh, just because it's already pretty much secured in the back. Uh, just personal preference, but and tight. Again, with the front one. And again, the Allen key is included, so you won't need any extra tools for this. Uh, this is uh, made for a real gun, so the specifications are for that. So if your front sight is a little off because your gun is not made that way, you just got to move your front sight until it fits uh, snugly. Uh, if it's in the right position, this uh, this RIS will not move at all because it's locked down with the delta ring and screws, and it's pretty much not going anywhere. So that's as pretty much as tight as I want it. I like that for you. Uh, there's no wobble, uh, which is a good thing because no one no one likes wobble. <laughs> um, so that is my video review tutorial kind of thing of my hand guard. I will be doing more in the future. If you guys have any comments or would like to see anything else, I have some ideas, but I'm always open to what you guys want to hear. Leave that in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.